Hello. This is Dr. Venkat Ram Mysore, Dermatologist and Hair Transplant Surgeon, Venkat Center for Skin, ENT and Plastic Surgery, Vijayanagar, Manishankari, Cunningham Road, Bangalore. Is Minoxidil the only drug for baldness? Is there any other lotion that you can give me? There is so much that I read on Google. So many drugs are available on Amazon, Procapil, Sarpamato, Kepexil, and more recently, Redensil. How useful are they? Are they better than Minoxidil? Can I use them? These questions are frequently asked. And this video is to answer these questions. Please understand one thing. Baldness, male pattern hair loss, is a very challenging condition to treat. After all, 50% of the men are bald in the world. There is no curative medicine. So, people are always searching for a better medicine, better cure. And in minoxidil, there is a monotony because it is the only local drug proven efficacy in nearly 45 years. So there is no harm in searching for another one. It is understandable people want better plants. I agree. So what happens is periodically new drugs keep making news. I'll take you back to about 2004-2005. There was a huge explosion of information. Soft vomito. Plant origin Dehydrotestosterone testosterone inhibitor. Better than finasteride. No side effects like finasteride. This came with this reputation. It was expensive, people bought lotion, people bought tablets. But then what happened? There was no scientific publication, no evidence. And three, four, five years later, it died down. You know it is available, but it is not in the news. And then, 2011, 12, 13, another wave of drugs. Procapil, Biocanin, Epexil, so many what are called biomimetic peptides came. These were small little peptides, amino acid chains, which would affect the metabolism of hair and thereby the synthesis of hair. And then again, there was a wave of enthusiasm, interest. People started using. Then publications, hardly anything to come by. So after three, four years, everybody said, this is not such a fantastic drug. It doesn't work that well for male pattern hair. Minoxidil continued to be the key one. Then more recently, one patient came and told, sir, I have found a new cure. Redensil. Then I found out that it contains certain botanicals and again so many other things. Then this is not something new. It first made its news around 2013-14. Its publication, only publication available is around 2018. Then one more publication in 2020. Only two publications of rather low quality. What does it mean low quality? When we look at the evidence available, we look at all the scientific publications in peer-reviewed journals, which means journals which have a systematic process of reviewing whatever is submitted to them. And their level of evidence is qualified as level A, highest level. No doubt that it works. Level B, it works. But level of evidence available is new. More evidence needs to come. Level C, some evidence, few publications, but not enough to make a recommendation. And level D, which is anecdotal evidence. Here say, somebody says this, somebody says that. That is not good evidence, level D, lowest level. Now, when there are one or two publications, such level can be called level D or level C at the most. So, you cannot make a recommendation to use by a patient. That is the level of evidence available for these parts. But at the same time, 
people in their enthusiasm use it any of them write about it now you must remember here air loss is of two types one in which there is no damage to the root there is a change in the cycle this is temporary and one in which there is damage to the root air becomes weak and ultimately leads to baldness in the temporary hair loss many things work including diet with proteins vitamins minerals so many things work there and a patient with baldness can have the temporary hair loss super added on the baldness so that component can work can improve easily with any of these drugs 3 4 months of treatment it improves so the patient feels happy but did it affect baldness no that continues so many of these case reports many of these what you see on youtube or facebook or instagram is of this category i point to you two publications one of which i was the author another by on prominent indian dermatologist in the indian channel these were extensive reviews and they say that there is not much evidence for these drugs and so we cannot make a specific recommendation in 2019 the european academy doctors published what we call s3 guidelines the screenshot is here this listed all the drugs under level approved and in this list none of these drugs is mentioned what does this mean how should we summarize the situation baldness is challenging condition to manage people are desperate for a cure new drugs keep coming but it is important that we examine the evidence the evidence means good quality scientific studies published in peer reviewed journals only then we as doctors can make such a recommendation doctors cannot be youtube influencers to say that this works or that works they have to speak on evidence and is there evidence of that quality for this but i'm sorry to say no there is if you wish to use it that is a different issue the temporary part of the hair loss may improve but it does not affect the course of baldness and we have to see which of these drugs will still be available in the market after two or three years so my request to you please contact your dermatologist and take advice because many of these medicines are expensive medicines so a word of caution is necessary scientific view is also necessary i hope you have liked this video please share it if you have liked it visit our website for more information www.venkatcenter.com thank you good day